ਸਟੂਡੈਂਟਸ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਕਲਾਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਕੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਕਿਹੜੇ ਅਲਕੋਹਲ ਡਰਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਪਰਪਸਸ ਲਈ ਇਸਤੇਮਾਲ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਹਾਂ ਉਹ ਹੈ ਇਥਾਈਲ ਅਲਕੋਹਲ ਕੀ ਹੋਵੇਗਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਮਿਥਾਈਲ ਅਲਕੋਹਲ ਨੂੰ ਇਥਾਈਲ ਅਲਕੋਹਲ ਵਿੱਚ ਐਡ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਜਾਵੇ ਤਾਂ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਡੀਨੇਚਰਡ ਅਲਕੋਹਲ ਬਣਦੀ ਹੈ ਡੀਨੇਚਰਡ ਅਲਕੋਹਲ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਹਿਰੀਲੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਅਤੇ ਪੀਣ ਯੋਗ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਆਪਣੇ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਪ੍ਰੀਪਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਪਰਟੀਜ਼ ਆਫ ਅਲਕੋਹਲਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਲੈਟਸ ਡਿਸਕਸ ਮੋਰ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਅਲਕੋਹਲਸ ਇਨ ਆਰ ਟੁਡੇਸ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਬਟ ਫਰਸਟ ਲੈਟਸ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਲੁੱਕ ਐਟ ਦ ਲਰਨਿੰਗ ਆਬਜੈਕਟਿਵਸ ਅਪੋਨ ਕੰਪਲੀਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਲਰਨਰਸ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਕਲਾਸੀਫਾਈ ਅਲਕੋਹਲਸ discuss preparation and properties of alcohols write chemical reactions alcohols these are the compounds which contain hydroxyl group classification depending upon the number of hydroxyl groups these are classified as monohydric alcohols these are the compounds which contain only one hydroxyl group polyhydric alcohols these are the compounds which contain more than 3 hydroxyl group monohydric alcohols monohydric alcohols have a general formula cn h2n plus 1 oh one hydroxyl group is attached to alkyl group aao hun assi preparations of alcohols bare jaande ha these are various methods for the preparation of alcohols let's discuss them one by one from alkenes alkenes can be converted to alcohol by three different ways described below by hydration of alkenes alkenes react with dilute sulfuric acid and form alcohol as a product by electrophilic addition of water the intermediate of this reaction is carbocation which can undergo rearrangement to form different products alkenes when absorbed in concentrated sulfuric acid form alkyl hydrogen sulfates by electrophilic addition of sulfuric acid to alkenes these alkyl hydrogen sulfates on hydrolysis with water or steam form alcohols this is an industrial method of preparation of alcohols in both of above methods alcohols are obtained corresponding to markovnikov's rule by hydroboration oxidation of alkenes alkenes when treated with boron hydride thf that is tetrahydrofuran undergo electrophilic addition of boron trihydride to form trialkyl borane which on oxidation with hydrogen peroxide that is h2o2 in hydroxide ions form alcohol corresponding to anti markovnikov's rule three molecules of propene react with boron trihydride to form tri and propyl borane which on oxidation with hydrogen peroxide in hydroxide ions forms propane one all and boric acid by oxymercuration demercuration in this method alkenes when treated with mercuric acetate dissolved in water in the presence of sodium boron hydride form alcohol corresponding to markovnikov's rule without rearrangement butanoin reacts with mercuric acetate dissolved in water to form addition product which in presence of 
sodium boron hydride and hydroxide ions form butane 2 all. From alkyl halides. Alkyl halides when heated with aqueous alkali or moist silver oxide hydrolyze to form alcohols. Metal halide is also produced as a byproduct. The hydrolysis occurs by a nucleophilic substitution reaction. Bromoethane reacts with silver hydroxide in the presence of silver oxide to form ethanol and silver bromide. To get a good yield of alcohol as a product, halide has to be primary in nature. From carbonyl compounds, Catalytic hydrogenation of carbonyl compounds like nickel or platinum. The carbonyl group of aldehydes and ketones can be reduced to alcohol by passing hydrogen gas through aldehydes and ketones in presence of these catalysts. On heating in presence of hydrogen and nickel or platinum oxide Acetaldehyde forms ethanol, which is the primary alcohol. Acetone on heating in presence of hydrogen and nickel or platinum forms isopropyl alcohol, which is a secondary alcohol. Biovolt Blanc reduction. In this reduction, the carbonyl group of aldehydes, ketones, etc., is reduced to hydroxyl, that is. OH group by sodium and ethanol. Ketones reduce in the presence of sodium and ethyl alcohol and forms secondary alcohol. Aldehydes reduce in the presence of sodium and ethyl alcohol and forms primary alcohol. From ester, esters can be reduced by catalyst hydrogenation or by sodium and ethyl alcohols and forms alcohol. Butanol on hydrogenation with sodium and ethanol gives butane one all and propyl propionate on hydrogenation with sodium and ethanol gives propane one all. Reduction with complex metal hydrides. Compounds like lithium, aluminum hydride and sodium boron hydride reduce the carbonyl compounds, acids, esters, acid halides and acid anhydrides to corresponding alcohols. For example, butanoic acid reduces to butane one all in the presence of sodium boron hydride. Croton aldehyde reduces to but2N1-all in the presence of sodium boron hydride. Butanone reduces to butane2-all in the presence of lithium aluminum hydride. The advantages of these hydrides in the preparation of alcohols are these are soluble in common organic solvents like ether. Sodium boron hydride does not reduce carbon-carbon multiple bonds or olefinic linkages. Tertiary alcohols cannot be obtained by the reduction of carbonyl compounds from esters by the alkaline hydrolysis of esters. Saponification Ester when treated with aqueous alkali or aqueous sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide is converted into sodium salt of acid and alcohol. Ethyl acetate reacts with aqueous sodium hydroxide to form sodium acetate and ethyl alcohol. From ethers, ethers when heated with dilute sulfuric acid hydrolyze to yield alcohols. From primary amines, action of nitrous acid on primary amines gives 
primary alcohols. This method is not very good for preparation of alcohols as in this method there is formation of carbocation as intermediate which can form many other byproducts. Propyl amine reacts with nitrous acid to form propanol, water and nitrogen gas. From Grignard reagents, Grignard reagents may be used for the preparation of primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. Primary alcohols, Grignard reagents reacts with formaldehyde to form an intermediate which on acidic hydrolysis forms primary alcohol. Grignard reagent reacts with ethylene oxide to form an intermediate which on acidic hydrolysis forms primary alcohols. Secondary alcohols these may be obtained by the reaction of Grignard reagents with aldehydes other than formaldehydes. Grignard reagents react with aldehydes to form an intermediate which on acidic hydrolysis forms secondary alcohol and hydroxy magnesium halide. Tertiary alcohols Tertiary alcohols and hydroxy magnesium halide are formed when Grignard reagents react with ketones or acid halides. Relevant chemical reaction is shown on the screen. Action of Grignard reagent on esters. Ethyl acetate reacts with methyl magnesium iodide to form an addition product. which forms acetone. Acetone reacts with methyl magnesium iodide to form again an addition product. which finally forms tertiary butyl alcohol and hydroxy magnesium iodide. Hun sama hai properties of alcohols bare jananda. Sab to pehla physical characteristics. The lower homologues alcohols are generally liquids and higher ones having more than 12 carbon atoms are solids. The lower alcohols are readily soluble in water but the solubility decreases with the increase in the molecular weight. The higher alcohols are usually waxy solids or insoluble in water. Their solubility in water can be explained due to the formation of hydrogen bonds between highly polarized hydroxyl groups present both in alcohols and water. The hydroxyl group present in alcohols contain an electronegative oxygen atom which has an ability to form hydrogen bond with hydrogen atom of water molecules. Thus, hydrogen bonds are formed between alcohol and water molecules. The higher alcohols are insoluble in water because of weakening of hydrogen bond due to steric effect of large alkyl or R group. Boiling and melting points of alcohols are much higher than those of corresponding alkanes. Thus, methanol has the boiling point of 65 degrees Celsius while methane 
boils at minus 161 degree Celsius. Their relatively higher boiling and melting points are due to the intermolecular association of a large number of alcohol molecules due to hydrogen bonding. It is shown in nitrophenols. Boiling point, melting point and the specific gravity of alcohols increases in a regular manner with increase in molecular weight. Among the isomeric alcohols, boiling points and melting points follow the order shown on the screen. Because with increase in branching surface area decreases, when the wall forces of attraction decreases, thus melting point and boiling point decreases. Hun is the general chemical characteristics Bare gal kar deha. The general chemical behavior of the alcohol depends upon their type. In reactions involving cleavage of O single bond H, primary alcohols are most reactive, while secondary alcohols are less and tertiary alcohols least reactive. The presence of the alkyl group with plus inductive effect tends to increase the electron density around oxygen atom. The bond cleavage in O single bond H bond becomes difficult. Greater the number of alkyl group present in alcohol, lesser the reactivity. Similarly, in reactions involving cleavage of C single bond O, the order of reactivity is reversed, that is, Tertiary is greater than secondary, is greater than primary alcohols. Its reason is the alkyl group with plus inductive effect tends to increase the electron density towards the carbon atom. As a result, the bond cleavages become easy. Greater the number of alkyl group present, more will be the reactivity of alcohol. Reactions involving the cleavage of OH bond with highly electropositive metals. Electropositive metals like sodium, potassium, calcium and magnesium react with alcohols forming alkoxides with the liberation of hydrogen. Have a look at the reaction between alcohols and sodium. In this reaction, Sodium alkoxide and hydrogen gas is formed. Ethyl alcohol reacts with magnesium to form magnesium ethoxide and hydrogen gas. In this reaction, alcohols behave as weak acids. The acidic character of various alcohols depends upon the nature of group attached to hydroxyl group. In general, Electron releasing group or groups having plus inductive effect show decrease in acidic strength of these alcohols and the groups having minus inductive effect show increase in acidic strength. The general order of acidic strength is shown on the screen. With acids, esterification Alcohols react with organic acid with the elimination of water to form compounds known as esters. The reaction between an alcohol and acid to form an ester is known as esterification. It is carried out in the presence of sulfuric acid. It is a reversible reaction. Acetic acid and ethanol reacts in the presence of sulfuric acid to form ethyl acetate and water. The order of reactivity of the three types of alcohols in esterification reaction is shown on the screen. Esterification mechanism Step 1 In the first step, ethanoic acid takes a proton that is 
a hydrogen ion from the concentrated sulfuric acid. The proton becomes attached to one of the lone pairs on the oxygen which is double bonded to the carbon. Transfer of the proton to the oxygen gives it a positive charge. An electron pair shifting takes place as shown on the screen. Step 2. Positive charge on the carbon atom is attacked by one of the lone pairs on the oxygen of the ethanol molecule as shown on the screen. Step 3. A proton that is a hydrogen ion gets transferred from the oxygen ion to other atoms. The net effect is as shown on the screen. Step 4. Now a molecule of water is lost from the ion. You can see the reaction on the screen. Step 5. Hydrogen is removed from oxygen by reaction with hydrogen sulfate ion which was formed way back in the first step. The ester has been formed and sulfuric acid catalyst has been regenerated. Acylation or reaction with acid chlorides and acid anhydrides. Alcohols react with acid chlorides or acid anhydrides to form esters. As the hydrogen of the hydroxy group of alcohol is replaced by an acyl group, the reaction is known as acylation. Alkanol reacts with alkyl anhydride to form alkyl alkanoate and alkanoic acid. Alkanol reacts with alkanoyl chloride to form alkyl alkanoate and hydrochloric acid. Ethanol reacts with acetic anhydride in presence of sodium acetate to form ethyl acetate and acetic acid. When hydrogen of the hydroxyl group of alcohol is replaced by an acetyl group, it is known as acetylation. And if hydrogen of the hydroxyl group of alcohol is replaced by a benzoyl group, it is called benzoylation. Reaction with Grignard reagents. As alcohols have an active hydrogen, it means that hydrogen with partial positive charge. These react with Grignard reagents to form alkanes. Reactions involving the cleavage of C single bond O or CO bond, these reactions may also be considered as reactions involving replacement of hydroxyl group. Action of halogen acids. Halogen acids react with alcohols to yield alkyl halides. The reactivity of halogen acids is in the order shown on the screen. This reaction is also called Groves reaction. The order of reactivity of alcohols in this reaction is shown on the screen. Tertiary alcohol gets greater preference than secondary alcohol which gets greater preference than primary alcohol. Alcohol on heating with halogen acids in the presence of anhydrous zinc chloride forms alkyl halide and water. When alcohols are treated with hydrogen iodide in the presence of red phosphorus at 150 degrees Celsius, they are reduced to alkanes. Water and iodine are also released in the reaction. Action of Phosphorus Halides Both tri and pentahalides of phosphorus react with alcohols and form monohalides. Action of Thionyl halides. Thionyl chloride or thionyl bromide converts alcohols to alkyl chlorides or bromides in the presence of pyridine. This reaction with thionyl chloride is called Darzen's reaction 
and is best method for preparation of chloroalkanes as byproducts of this reaction are in gaseous state. Action of ammonia. Alcohols react with ammonia when their vapors are passed over heated alumina catalyst at 360 degrees Celsius to form a mixture of primary, secondary and tertiary amines. Miscellaneous reactions. Reaction with anhydrous metallic salts. Lower alcohols form addition compounds with anhydrous metallic salts like calcium chlorides, magnesium chlorides and copper sulfates. For example, by analogy of water of crystallization, this is known as alcohol of crystallization. Dehydration. Alcohols on heating with concentrated sulfuric acid undergo dehydration to form various products. The nature of product obtained depends upon reaction temperature. At 413 Kelvin, at this temperature, alcohols form symmetrical ethers when intermolecular dehydration occurs from two alcohol molecules. At 443 Kelvin, at this temperature, intramolecular dehydration occurs and alkenes is formed as the product. This product is formed corresponding to Sedzev's rule. The intermediate of this dehydration is carbocation. Mechanism of dehydration in first step, one of the lone pairs of electrons on the oxygen picks up a hydrogen ion from the sulfuric acid. The alcohol is said to be protonated. The protonated ethanol loses a water molecule to give a carbocation or a carbonium ion. Finally, a hydrogen sulfate ion from the sulfuric acid pulls off a hydrogen ion from the carbocation. Dehydrogenation. Alcohol vapors on passing through hot copper tubes undergo dehydrogenation. The nature of the product obtained depends upon nature of alcohol dehydrogenated. Primary alcohols on dehydrogenation form aldehydes. Secondary alcohols on dehydrogenation forms ketones. Tertiary alcohols undergo dehydration instead of dehydrogenation and form alkene products. Oxidation. Primary and secondary alcohols are readily oxidized by a dilute solution of acidic potassium dichromate, acidic or alkaline potassium permanganate or dilute nitric acid. Tertiary alcohols require a strong oxidizing agent and vigorous conditions. The nature of product formed depends upon nature of alcohol and the nature of oxidizing agent. Primary alcohols are easily oxidized first to aldehydes and then to carboxylic acid having same number of carbon atoms as alcohol. To get aldehyde product mild oxidizing agent such as pyridinium chlorochromate or Collins reagents are used which cannot oxidize aldehydes further to ketones. Secondary alcohols on oxidation yield ketones having same number of carbon atoms. Ketones are resistant to further oxidation and their oxidation is possible only under strong conditions. Tertiary alcohols under drastic conditions give a ketone with lesser number of carbon atoms as compared to alcohol, which on oxidation forms acids, carbon dioxide and water. Distinction among primary, secondary and tertiary alcohols. The three types of alcohols can be distinguished 
from each other by any of the methods described below. Leucus test. When an unknown alcohol is treated with leucus reagent, which is a mixture of concentrated hydrochloric acid and anhydrous zinc chloride, it is converted to corresponding alkyl chloride. Formation of alkyl chloride is indicated by the appearance of white turbidity in the reaction mixture. Since the order of reactivity of alcohols with halogen acids is not same and follow the order shown on the screen, tertiary alcohol gets greater preference than secondary alcohol which gets greater preference than primary alcohol. Therefore, the tertiary alcohols give turbidity immediately, secondary alcohols within 5 to 10 minutes and the primary alcohols do not give turbidity at all at room temperature. From the turbidity produced, the three alcohols get distinguished. Tertiary alcohol in presence of concentrated hydrochloric acid and anhydrous zinc chloride forms tertiary alkyl chloride. It causes white turbidity immediately. Secondary alcohol reacts with leucus reagent to form secondary alkyl chloride. It causes white turbidity on standing. Primary alcohol does not react with leucus reagent. That's why no turbidity is obtained at room temperature. Victimase test. The test consists of following steps. Conversion of alcohols to alkyl iodides by treatment with cold hydroiodic acid. Reaction of alkyl iodides with silver nitride to form corresponding nitroalkanes. Treatment of nitroalkanes with nitrous acid and addition of alkali when a blood red or blue color is produced in case of primary and secondary alcohol respectively and no color being produced in case of tertiary. Primary alcohol reacts with hydrogen iodide to form primary alkyl halide. It reacts with silver nitrite to form primary nitroalkane and it reacts with nitrous acid to form nitrolic acid. It reacts with sodium hydroxide to give red color. Secondary alcohol reacts with hydrogen iodide to form secondary alkyl halide which reacts with silver nitrite to form secondary nitroalkane which reacts with nitrous acid to form pseudo nitrole which reacts with sodium hydroxide to give blue color. Tertiary alcohol reacts with hydrogen iodide to form tertiary alkyl halide which reacts with silver nitrite to form tertiary nitroalkane which does not react with nitrous acid. Problem. Convert methanol into ethanol isopropyl alcohol and tertiary butyl alcohol. Only one type of reagent is permitted in each step. Methanol reacts with copper in the presence of heat and forms methanol and hydrogen gas is liberated. Methanol reacts with methyl magnesium bromide and water to form ethanol. It reacts with copper in the presence of heat to form ethanol and hydrogen gas is produced. Ethanol reacts with methyl magnesium bromide and water to form propane 2 ol and it reacts with copper in presence of heat and propanone is formed. A molecule of water is also released. Propanone reacts with methyl magnesium bromide and water to form CH3 whole thrice COH that is 2 methyl propane 2 ol. It's time to check your knowledge what you have learnt in today's lesson. My first question for you is can we dry ethanol 
by anhydrous calcium chloride? The answer is no, because calcium chloride combines with ethanol. The complex formed is shown on the screen. My next question is, sodium metal can be used for drying diethyl ether and benzene and not ethanol? The answer is, ethanol has a replaceable hydrogen atom and therefore reacts with sodium. Relevant chemical reaction is shown on the screen. While benzene and diethyl ether do not have replaceable hydrogen atom and hence do not react with sodium. Therefore, these can be dried by sodium metal. So students, I hope that you enjoy the lesson enjoy kita hovega. Thank you so much for paying attention. See you next time. Till then, bye.